If you're planning on going to reopen businesses, the CDC still recommends wearing masks when social distancing is impossible. But masks do no good if you don't know how to use them correctly. Ansley Nichols explains best practices for using protective gear. In these times before you leave your house, one of those essential items that you may grab is a mask like this one. Where and how you use them determines their effectiveness. You take it, you put it over one ear while you hold the other corner, you pull it over the other ear. Then this is real important, you pull it down over the bottom of your chin, okay? And then you kind of pinch the bridge over your nose. Jennifer Hoffman, infectious disease specialist at Coliseum Hospital, demonstrates the right way to wear a mask. If your mask is worn like this, it's not protecting your airways from the virus. You don't want to be taking it on and off multiple times while you're wearing, wearing it, and you don't want to be adjusting it um, while you're wearing it. You want to try to avoid touching it while it's on. Once it's on, leave it alone until you're back from your public outing. Otherwise, you risk contaminating it. You take it off, it goes straight into the wash basket, you wash that one, and you use a new one until that one is clean again. The CDC says a washing machine will probably clean a mask. When it comes to traveling in your car, should you leave the mask on? I know some people really hate wearing them and are going to be very tempted to do, do so, but each time you touch the mask, you risk contaminating yourself. The CDC recommends to wear a mask in public settings where you can't social distance, like the grocery store. Whether you have symptoms or not, Hoffman says to wear one regardless. Somewhere between 25 and 50 percent of people with COVID-19 are asymptomatic or have such mild symptoms that they just don't even really realize that they're sick. Um, and so you could be an asymptomatic carrier and not even know it. And so if you don't want to spread it around the community, then it's very helpful to be wearing a mask. You should not use surgical masks or N95 respirators. Those should be reserved for healthcare workers and other medical responders. In Macon, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. The CDC says cloth face coverings should not be placed on young children under the age of two, anyone who has trouble breathing or anyone unable to remove it without help.